First things first, I'm gonna say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. Oh, ooh. The way that things have been. Oh, ooh. All right, I'm fired up. Buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, the first thing I'm gonna talk about today, I'm gonna try to limit this video to just this one thing all right and it's gonna be in regards to Robert Breaker and his in time fantasy land all right this this stuff here is not in the Bible parts of it are but he's got it all screwed up and I'm gonna hopefully try to explain why this is no good no good at all so let me start with the hard stuff first Robert Breaker is claiming that he is gonna have superiority over others for all eternity that's not that's not what we're putting our hope in that is not the blessed hope the blessed hope is not to have power, authority over another person for all eternity. That's not biblical at all. Okay? And this is what he's teaching. <laughs> it, the, and to be fair, it is, there's a whole bunch of people out there teaching the very same thing not putting any thought into what they're actually saying it's incredible all right so let's hear it from his own words one may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done whether it be good or bad now we're not being judged for our sins if we're saved when we go to that only saved people go to that because our sin was forgiven here so our sin is judged at the cross. So what are we judged for at the judgment seat of Christ? I'll draw, draw it up here, the JSC, just so you know. What are we judged for at the judgment seat of Christ? Our service. Boom, right there. So, think about it. Breaker is saying, well, I have served the Lord more than you, therefore... I will have greater gifts in heaven than you for all eternity. I mean, honestly, does it really take that much thought to understand how evil and wicked this teaching is? So, you know, for one example, the thief on the cross. You're going to say you're going to... You're going to have greater gifts than him because he didn't believe until the last seconds of his life. Therefore, your service is greater than his service. So for all eternity, you're going to be greater than him. Because of what happened in the small moment of time while we're here on the earth. It, to me, it's unbelievable. Nobody wants to think anymore. Obviously, Robert Breaker lacks the ability to think about the things he teaches. My guess is that he was taught this, didn't question it, and now he teaches it. And nobody's putting any thought into what's being taught. That's, I don't know how, how else somebody could teach such things, honestly. Now, when we are resurrected, we are... incorruptible okay let's go to let's just use <laughs> somebody said I like to use the same verses over and over 
And that's true. Because um, the reason I like to do that is because not one single verse can be wrong. And if this verse is right and it contradicts whatever you're teaching, then what you're teaching is wrong. Period. All right, so when we are resurrected, we put on incorruption and we put on immortality. Okay, that's it. Right, so what is it that you are imagining that you will have superiority over another person for all eternity because you walk some old lady across the street when you're in this flesh on this earth what exactly is the service that you're doing that you think is going to be rewarded extra in the life to come hereafter well, you're going to walk around with an extra crown on your head you're going to, have to walk around with more crowns on your head extra antennas you're going to have three antennas where everybody else is going to have two? Now, what is it, man? Robert Breaker and none of these people will talk about it because they're not putting any thought into it. Period. The judgment of God is, are you saved or are you not saved? That's it. Now, what in the world are you thinking? You're going to be judged. You're going to be get extra credit for how many old ladies you walked across the street. Is that what you thought? That's not supported by the Bible at all. You're not going to have an advantage over another man at all in the life to come hereafter. Period. So let's see if I can go to real quickly go to a couple of uh, verses you know Jesus likes to give parables for us that are saved to understand all right am I am I in the right one here yeah okay so one parable is the parable of the wheat and the tares so what happens at the end of the world the wheat are separated from the tares and the tares are burned so all those left is wheat <laughs> okay that's it that's the judgment of God. That's the judgment. The judgment happens at the end of the world. There is no, well, this piece of wheat is he done more stuff than this other piece of wheat. So for all eternity, this piece of wheat is going to be held above this other piece of wheat. I, that's I get look that's what Mormons teach we're not Mormons and we don't decide the future God has already determined it so that's it that's the judgment you're sitting around wondering what the judgment is it's very clear the judgment is very clear it's very simple okay and you you don't have to be very smart at all to understand that the judgment of God is are you saved or are you not saved the law of the Lord is perfect converting the soul the testimony of the Lord is sure making wise the simple it's not rocket science all right it's not rocket science so um, let's see if I can remember the verse here in Isaiah 66 they shall not build this is speaking of the life to come after we are resurrected which is when all the terrors are burned all the unsaved are done away with they shall not build in another inhabit They shall not plant and another eat. All right, for as the days of the tree 
are the days of my people and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands think about it if another is not allowed to inhabit your creation if you will you whatever you build okay you're not going to build a great co uh, apartment complex and rule over all the people inside the apartment it's not going to be like that at all there's no advantage to be made in the life to come hereafter whatever you do with your hands it is yours and whatever your neighbor does with his hand it is his there is no advantage whatsoever in the life to come hereafter therefore this idea that Robert Breaker walks more old ladies across the street therefore for all eternity he is going to have the greater blessing because of the guy on the cross he didn't get saved until the last second last seconds of his life so he's kind of for all eternity he's damned is he not because he didn't believe sooner he should have believed sooner I mean just think about how wicked this th carnal thinking is just for your own sake man put some thought into what you teach and into what you believe 